all right everybody welcome back you don't know it's your boy kamani brown back with another video now this video is actually a continuation of the series of my big transition to iphone from android and adding this new and i'm pointing to it because he guessed that right i'm actually filming with it right now as i said i'm treating this as a tool i have read and researched so much about the capabilities of the camera especially when it comes on the consistency reliability and the quality you know, there are good cameras on the android side as well but from my experience there's a little lacking in terms of con the consistency and reliability factor so that's one of the main points of apple phones and well i'm trying to know for myself you guys will have a first hand experience of the camera and its quality i'm now filming in 4k 30 quality right now using the standard lens i've zoomed into probably about 1.4 so times the regular zoom <laughs> and here we are so hopefully the quality is as good as they say that it is now this video really and truly is about not just showcasing how the camera is but also as promised i'm actually showing how the migration process went from the android to the iphone most importantly and most notably let me just unlock this here for a second using these three apps now these are the apps that I use. Now for, my, for wifey, she had to use this one, the copy my data app. But for me, the standard move to iOS app developed in-house by Apple themselves worked for me also. Now it's pretty straightforward. I really don't think I need to show you how these work. Just know that if you're making a move, the move to iOS app is your first move. If that doesn't work for you, the copy my data app that's the next one all right it's pretty straightforward really and truly you don't need to have any tutorial for that it's very 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 simple step by step if you pass primary school or elementary school for you people in the states it's simple as pie now what i really want to speak about is the whatsapp -er. that's how i got my whatsapp information over into onto ios so to speak yo i mean if you search if you scour the internet you'll find little to nothing <laughs> some people say that it is impossible actually to make the move but it is actually quite possible i did it caveman can do it also it's a pretty straightforward process you know but the thing is it can get technical for me it was murder but for wifey it was pretty straightforward for her like went straight through but just for all of y'all references, I'm going to put a screen recording right here so you guys can actually see the process of how it went. All right, so let's check that out. All right, people, so jumping straight into it, right? First things first, ensure your phone is charged to 100%. As a matter of fact, if your phone charged in until the last part of the process where it will stop charging because really and truly it stops all other processes on the phone, to minimize the event of anything happening and throwing off the process and canceling it altogether. It's very sensitive like that. Now, of course, you go to the Google Play Store and download it. You only need it on your Android phone. You don't need to touch your Apple phone until the last part of the process, right? The next step, you open up WhatsApp, right? You have two options, right? Android to iOS, iOS to Android. What we care about here is Android to iOS. Now, you press that button for obvious reasons. And then it starts doing this conversion or parasing. I don't remember the exact term right about now. You guys can see it up on the screen right here. But yeah, it's pretty much just compiling the data, getting it ready for the whole transfer process. Right? It takes a while, it depends on how much data you have. For me, it was upwards of 5 gigs, about 5.4 or something like that to be exact. And it took maybe about 15 to 20 minutes, don't quote me on that, it varies. But once that, that's not actually not the longest part of the process. But after that, it takes you to the next part, which is pretty much... It just shows you an overview of all of your data, your messages, your videos, your pictures, <laughs> your emojis, everything. All right? All of your recordings and everything. All right? 
now that's just a summary now you press the, ne the next button and it takes you to the login page well login or purchasing page for me i purchased it already if you haven't purchased it as yet you can do it here it's on sale right now for 19.33 the regular price is about 29 dollars or 29 dollars something um you guys can see that in the screen grab it again now i don't know how long this will last so it depends on the time when you're seeing this video hopefully it's still there but regardless if it's 20 dollars 30 dollars whatever it's all a matter of what your data and what your information is valued to you for me i have a lot of stuff there in whatsapp i don't really delete my chat history because i have stuff there for records you know stuff for work colleagues business whatever stuff there that's very important to me and very personal to me so i need that information it is invaluable to me so i gladly paid it one time fee you can do it for unlimited amount of times there's also another option if you want to do it on the computer. I believe the app is called Copy Trans or something like that. Same Wondershare company. I'll leave a link for that in the description below. You guys can click that and check it out for yourselves. It's actually safer to do it with the PC, I would say, because you don't have to worry about your battery dying on you. This entire process really and truly my battery died on me the first time around. All right, so after you have successfully logged in or purchased the app, you move on to the next phase, which is where you plug out your phone. Because remember, I told you to leave it plugged in, fully charged from the beginning of the process. And you connect that USB Type-C to the lightning cable that came with your new iPhone, all right? Goes without saying USB Type-C to, to your Android phone and lightning to your iPhone. If it's an older Android phone, Better use the Copy Trans app, which is for PC. I'll leave that in the description below. You guys can check that out. And then you guys can begin the process, right? After you connect it, then it will ask you some, it'll prompt you regarding ensuring that your phone is connected. Also, it'll also prompt you to log into the WhatsApp on the iPhone. So that's the next part of the process. Before you go any further, ensure that you have downloaded installed and successfully logged in sucks and successfully logged into whatsapp on your iphone right that's very important it will come up blank of course because all the data is still on your android phone and the process is not yet completed now once that is done you move on to the next step you press ok on the prompt and then it will begin its magic right the conversion process this could take anywhere upward of hour and a half two hours it depends really and truly how much data that you have to carry over for me as i said it was about 5.4 gigs or so it took me around about one and a half there about it was painful and it failed the first time i got to 90 96 <laughs> percent only to have it blow up in my face yeah whatever but that's how it is you live and you learn and yeah i mean that's it you just wait round about at about the 90 percent mark it's pretty much done with your android phone and moves on to the and the <laughs> apple device so you actually see the iphone enter a sort of um developer state so to speak i don't know what you would call it where it's it says transferring or something like that and then after that, after that 10% is completed, it'll tell you 100, it'll tell you complete, you'll see your iPhone actually shut down. You have to manually reboot it after that, as in hold on the power button, let it restart. Don't worry about it, that's how it works. But once that is done, completed. Log back into your WhatsApp, and just like magic, right where you left off. All your pictures, all your videos, if you had set it to back up your videos in the first place, your messages, your emojis, your voice notes, Everything is there like you never left. <laughs> and that's it. All right. Pretty really straightforward process. I hit a little snug here and there, but that's why I am here. So I did have to go through the pain that I did. But I really and truly hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Or at least found it informative. That was pretty much the most complicated part of the transfer process. All right. It's been a joy. And yet again, I'm filming this with the iPhone 13 Pro Max. You guys can have a look at the picture quality, the video quality. And let me know what you think. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for tuning in, guys.
you know i truly appreciate it you know i also appreciate a like subscribe and of course hitting that little notification bell so you know when the next video is out truly appreciate you guys once again peace and take care